today's video, I'm going to show you how to send crypto if you have no gas for transaction fees in your wallet. And we're going to do that using an app known as Small Refuel. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. And as a reminder, this video is not financial advice or a suggestion that you invest in cryptocurrency. It's educational about how to use a cryptocurrency application. Now let's get into it. Normally, whenever you are making a transaction on a blockchain, you need to have the coin or token of whatever chain you're transacting on. So if you're transacting on Ethereum or any of Ethereum's layer twos, normally you need to have ETH. If you're transacting on Solana, you need to have Sol, et cetera, et cetera. The website we're going to use today is known as Small Refuel. And what this lets you do is make a transaction even if you don't have the right token. So for example, if someone sent you crypto, maybe they sent you some USDC and they didn't send you any money to make a transaction to pay for fees, you can get some fee money for fees using this website. And the way that works is you convert some of whatever token you have into the right token or coin to pay for fees. And the website is smallrefuel.com. Small is spelled S-M-O-L. This is built by my friend at 0 NGMI, who is also a co-founder of DeFi Llama, one of the top websites for crypto on-chain metrics. And you can see here that this is available on many different chains, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Base, Blast, Avalanche, and probably close to 100 others. So it's available on a lot of different chains, and I'm going to show you how to use it today. First thing we'll need to do is connect our wallet, and we can see that I have this wallet here. I'm going to use MetaMask for this demonstration, and oops, I'm right. I sent 20 USDC to this wallet, but I didn't send any ETH, so I have no way to actually send that USDC or convert it to something else. First, we'll connect the wallet. I'll select MetaMask, and you can see here, I'll be prompted to confirm the wallet. And now the wallet is connected. It will appear up here on the top right. We select which chain we want gas on. I want gas on Arbitrum. And now we select the token. There's only one token in this wallet, and that is USDC. If you have tokens on other chains, it might also give you the option to convert those tokens on other chains into gas on this chain. Uh, but I'm just going to convert USDC on Arbitrum, some of that into ETH. And you can see I could convert all of it right now, but I don't really need all of it in ETH, right? I just need a little bit in ETH so that I can pay for transaction fees. And I could convert either the rest of it into ETH, I could send it to someone else, I could convert it into some other token of my choosing. And we can see down here that once I put in the amount, it shows us the gas fee and bot fee, which is around seven cents for this. So I will receive $1.94 in, in ETH. I'll click on convert to ETH and I'll be prompted to sign the transaction. And note that this is not a normal gas using transaction. It's just a signature. However, the gas fee will come out of, of the amount that I eventually receive. So I click on sign. It takes a second to confirm the transaction. And then if I go back to the wallet, you can see here that I have two fewer USDC, but I now have almost $2 of ETH, which should be enough to make a transaction on Arbitrum. If you want to stay on top of the crypto market, as well as learn about different crypto tools, I have a newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. And every single week I send out a tool spotlight with a useful tool to help you use and research crypto. For more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.